All right, guys, welcome back. My my webcam is not on. Let's disable it and deactivate Let's activate it and deactivate it. Did that work? There we go. We're good. We're good. Sorry about being a little late. Uh, we're about, yeah, it's what, 6 p.m.? Yeah, we're normally on at 5. Uh, I kind of looked in my fridge when I got home today and realized I had no food, so it was just a mad dash to the grocery store because, you know, got to eat. All right, we're on day three. Day three of King's Quest Seven. We just solved the puzzle with the princess. We needed five different items that we had to give to uh, the auntie or the nurse or something. I don't know what she. I don't know what her uh, relationship was with the uh, with the king. She nursed him, I think. Maybe raised him. But anyway, we gave her those items. Uh, we got turned back into a human and locked in our bedroom. Typical teenager stuff. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, so we're back here. Uh, we didn't really explore too much, but this thing is obviously smoking, so we're going to go look at that. There is this. Oh, I guess I can put it right here. I'm assuming no, step stool. It's not tall enough yet. Oh, okay. No, it's. We're stacking things. There we go. Easy enough. <clears throat> oh, all right. All right, this goes first. This goes second. No. And then third, and we should be good. 
guessing a specific order. Biggest to smallest. There we go. Hey, event. My, my lady Malicia, I wasn't expecting you. And who were you expecting, you pathetic wretch? Your precious princess? Listen Malisha. to me, you pudding-brained puppet. If you and your obsession with that <clears throat> pale-skinned, meddlesome princess manage to disrupt my plans, I'll have you filleted. Have you learned to work the volcano mechanism yet? Well, yes, I, I think so, but Lady Malicia, is it really necessary? Will the realm of Eldritch be hard, my lady? Is it a the rat? The are right below Etheria, and the land of Ooga Booga below that. Oh, a village here, a township there, who's going to miss them? Even if all of Eldritch is covered in slag, at least the blight of Etheria will be gone. <clears throat> <clears throat> I like the bow. All right. I just don't know what's right. What's real? If only I could remember. If only he could remember. Oh, no. She can't. She just can't. Hmm. So I'm guessing he used to be a human too? Perhaps? Well, we made it out. Uh, we got a bat. <laughs> what is this little thing? What is that? It's a dragon toad? Alright. Uh, what can we use the toad on? Let's go talk to the women. Or the man and woman, or just the two men. Excuse me, Mr. Troll. Well, he's asleep. What about you? Hello, sir. No. Well, while we're here, we might as well save. Since we don't have to worry about dead ends in this game. Uh, we just made it out of there. What if we go here? Well, hold on. Is there anything else to look at? No. There is not. Let's see if we can make our way outside this, uh, this section. Let's see what he thinks of me now. That I'm a human. Nope. Go talk. Nope, he still likes me. Mm, hello. How are you feeling? Why, I feel just damned. Oh my! You are the strangest looking troll goyle I've ever seen! But as a kindness to you, I will take you out after my shift is over. Uh. No, thank you. I don't think my little heart could stand the strain. Hmm. Is he interested in this? No. And I can't use it anywhere. What is this, actually? Silver pellet. Can I give this to him? No, I can't use it anywhere either. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do over here. Yeah, let's go to the other side. Let's go towards the uh, crystal dragon. See what happens. Hmm. Make our way over here. Oh, we can always go to the the cook. The kitchen. Let's go see what's over there. Maybe the chef is back and he wants a dragon toad. I vaguely remember him saying he needed something. We'll see. Yes, yes, yes. You are the loveliest centipede and fungus croquettes I've ever seen. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean any... Oh, is he gonna kill me? Ah, what are you? Get out of here, you pasty face croquet beef. You'll no out of that. Oh, he dropped. 
Oh, did I just die? I just died. Yep. Oh. Or not. Hmm. Am I dead? Am I actually dead? Nope, he just threw me out. Alright, so we gotta distract him and get that spoon. For something. I don't know what, yet. We'll see what happens. Or maybe we have to get through this door. Yes, yes, yes. You are the loveliest. Nope. Same thing. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yep, same thing. Okay, so we don't need to go here. Okay. Hmm. That was a long cutscene for essentially just being thrown out. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, oh, maybe we can put the toad. No? Or the silver pellet? Because we haven't figured out a use for this just yet. I should be fine, actually, because I'm a human. Since I'm much lighter. That doesn't look too stable. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Let's go over to the Crystal Dragon. Maybe they have something new to tell me. Hmm. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with these items? I don't quite know. Yeah, let's see if the dragon will talk to me. Or at least fly me out of here. Now that I'm human. Let's give it a try. See if we can talk to this dragon here. Uh, nope, he is completely asleep. And can we go this way? No. Hmm. No. What is this again? A silver pellet. Okay. Silver pellet and a dragon toad. I can't combine these two, right? Right. Maybe I'm just forgetting what I'm supposed to do with these items, but I thought we gave her the items and we could just go. But maybe not. <clears throat> hmm. I don't see anything else that looks useful. Hmm. Where do we go? Where do we go? I don't see any other entrances. Yeah, it has to be this, right? I have to be able to do something with this. I just don't quite know what. She just says it looks dangerous. Weird, 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 weird. We have two items, and this is the only thing I haven't really interacted with. Doesn't look too stable. Yeah, it doesn't look too stable. So how do we make it stable? Maybe we gotta use a pellet or something? El Senor, all good? Zorilla, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, things are going well. Uh, we started a little bit late. I uh, got home today. Uh, went to make a quick lunch before the stream and realized I had no food. So we had to do a mad dash over to the grocery store. Gotta eat. Gotta eat. Alright, what are we supposed to do? Maybe go back into the bedroom? So we managed to turn human. Now we Don't just have to. Don't you hurt him! Don't you dare hurt him! Stay out of it, old woman, or you'll hmm. regret the day you were born. So we're just trying to figure out how to escape There's this area. Wrong with him. Oh, here we go. What have you done to him, witch? You really don't want to know, ancient one. Your old nerves couldn't take it. Yeah, eating comes Suffice first, it definitely. That it's a definitely. Lot nicer than what I plan to do to you. 
Hmm. All right. So here's our helper. You don't scare me, you cold-blooded beanstalk, you flinty-eyed <coughs> lizard. Uh oh. All right. Help me. Get me out of here. All right. Let's talk. Let's talk. This is new, so. Matilda, I know you're concerned for the king, but maybe you shouldn't bait Malicia like you did. She's fully capable of hurting you. Don't I know it, child? But I can't help myself. I'd do anything to find out what she's done to my Otar. Anything. Uh, let's keep talking. Matilda, maybe if we investigate, we can... Can't you see it's hopeless, child? That creature is far too powerful. Leave me be, child. I'm sick at heart. Okay. What if I give you a dragon toad? Will that make you react? Matilda, what is this funny little thing? Otar's dragon toad. This was King Otar's when he was just a wee lad. It's a magical guardian. When little Otar would take it with him to play, it would watch over him and get him out of trouble. If he really got into a scrape, it would run home and tell me where he was. So it's a dog. It doesn't look very lively now, Matilda. Yes, it's been dormant for years. Let me see now. Wake it up. Feed it something. It's working! Dragon Toad, tell me now! Where is King Otar, and what's he doing? Oh, His Majesty the King is imprisoned! Far <laughs> away, in the land of the Booga Booga! Booga Booga. That means the king who's been in cahoots with Malicia is an imposter! I knew it! Matilda, I overheard the king, or, or whoever he is, and Malicia talking. It sounded like she intends to cause a volcano to erupt. Phoenix Underground is nothing but one big volcano. We trolls have been the keepers of the volcano for a hundred generations. If Malicia hmm. ignites it, the entire realm of Eldridge will blow up. Rosella, we must find the real King Otar. He's the only one with the knowledge to shut down the volcano. Here, take this magic rope. Oh, we got magic rope. Okay. I know exactly what to do with that. The lift. Use this rope with the elevator to Ooga Booga. Find the real king of the trolls. Go now. It may already be too late. Nice. Progress. Oh, oh shit. Where is that little snip of a princess? When I find her, I'll. How can you hide? That is not really even hiding. That table is way too small to hide behind. Is that a fart? Oh no, that's a dog. Nasty, smelly vermin! Someday I'll come up with a way to cause every bat, rat, and snake in the world to explode at once! <laughs> Bazinga. Alright, let's make our way to the lift. Try to escape, will she? Well, just let her try. Hmm? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, she definitely sees me now. Uh... What is this? What if I throw a dragon toad at her? Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe I was supposed to do something. Try to escape. Alright, let's throw something at her. The dragon toad will protect me? No, it will not. Ah, dead. Uh, maybe I gotta use the silver pellet as a shield? Yeah, let's try that. We'll try all the items on ourselves. No. Nope, I'm dead. Um, I just try to escape. 
What am I supposed to do? Give the dragon toad to the troll? Let's try that. Let's try that. Nope, dead. Oh, well, she hates rats. Let's try the rat. I think that's that's what we have to do. She hates rats and bats. Let's try it. Apparently not scared of toads. There we go. <laughs> All right. That was kind of a sadistic laugh. Okay, let's make our way to the lift. Fix it up with this enchanted rope that we just got. And get out of Trollville here. Look at that. Let's go. And we're going to Ooga Booga. Which is apparently where the original Troll King is at. Uh, do I like this more Disney-esque art style? I actually don't mind it. It's not bad. Oh shit, chapter three. That was fast. Um, I prefer the style of the old ones. Like, I don't mind the style of uh, this Disney-style animation. But yeah, I do prefer the older retro, like, you know, 8, 16-bit style uh, games. But, uh, I mean, I think they only did it for King's Quest Seven, So I'm actually okay with it. Like, you know, it is a nice change of pace. Would I want to see future King's Quest in this style? Uh, probably not. Yeah, they did something similar with Space Quest. Was it Space Quest Six? It wasn't quite Disney-esque, but they changed the art style. Uh, man, we're on chapter three. We're just cooking through this game. Oh, we're back to the queen. Uh, oh my god, I gotta figure out what to do? It's probably gonna kill me, right? It's gonna kill me. Last. I All suppose right. I should have done something to take that beast's attention away from me. Well, you give me like two seconds. Uh, let's try some hair. Hair. That didn't work. <laughs> Confound it. Nice. Yeah. Maybe I can attach the hair to the stick. Oh wait, wait. Do salamanders eat fruit? There we go. Just don't eat my hand. Run. Confound it. Yeah, I don't mind the style. It's, it's not bad. It's kind of uh, refreshing. Though I'm really, really curious. I, I made a point not to really look up any spoilers, but I'm really curious to see how King's Quest VIII looks. From what I've heard, it's in 3D, which... If it's 3D from the 90s, it's gonna look like garbage, <laughs> but we'll see. I still need to download it actually because uh, King's Quest VIII did not come with the King's Quest collection. What is this? Oh, it's a hummingbird. Mm, those flowers smell heavenly. Hmm, okay. Oh, I can grab some, uh... Right? No? Okay. Um... So that's honey. Oh, let's go ahead and save. Make a new bookmark. Yeah, so we're just starting chapter three. Okay, so there are a total of seven... Well, six chapters. Yeah, six chapters. Alright, what does this do? We obviously need to get honey. statues are so beautiful. Incredible. Yeah, they're pretty, but what is this? These statues are Nope. Okay, so we need to figure out a way to make the bridge happen. Hmm. What could have happened to this little bridge? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. These statues nope. are so beautiful. Alright, same stuff over and over again. Let's see. What can we do to get the honey? Right here? No. Uh, 
some way to soak it up. Otherwise, we can just go to the left and see what what else there is to do. All right, yeah, let's go to the left. Let's go find some more items because we're obviously missing something to get this nectar. Oh. We have a deer. Oh, he's sad. I advise you to turn back, my lady. Damn. These once magical woods have been cursed, and no one is safe here. It's got that James Brown voice. I am Valenys of Daventry, Noble Stag, and I appreciate your concern, but I am on a mission from which I cannot be dissuaded. I must enter your woods. You are brave, but know this. The oak tree you see before you was once my wife Ceres, she who is Mother Nature. Mm. I could not prevent her from being turned into a tree, for I had already been turned into a stag. Oh. I, Attis, Lord of the Hunt, could not save her. Who has done hmm. such a terrible thing, my A Lord witch. Attis? Has to be a witch. The attack was so sudden and so ferocious that I saw nothing. Only a noble from the high court of Etheria could have so much power. Hmm. But that is unthinkable. Hmm. Okay. I am sorry for your loss, Attis, but I must search on. Farewell, my friend. Valenis, wait. You need help. Be warned. To the far west is the wood of the Weir Folk. Do not enter those woods, for the Weir Folk are never friendly and always hungry. Thank you for the warning. Thank you, Lord Attis. So they're and hungry. A faint smile upon both of us. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So there's got to be a way to shape change him back. Now, does he have anything else to say? Is there nothing that can break the enchantment on you and your wife, Atlas? Here we go. Perhaps there is, but I know not what. Feldspar, the ancient rock spirit, might tell you. If only there was a way to awaken him. You see, I am becoming more like a natural stag with every passing hour. Thought becomes more difficult, and the shadows of the forest sing to my blood. <laughs> if I find any way to help you, I will, my lord Attis. Okay. Got it. Heartbreaking. Wife got turned into a tree. Yeah. Got turned into a tree and he got turned into a deer. And he's gradually losing his mind. And what's to say his wife hasn't already lost her mind as a tree? Let's see. Can we talk to the tree? Lady Ceres, I will help you if I can. Is that sap? Hmm. Because she's crying? What wicked creature drove this stake into the tree? Into Lady Ceres? <laughs> Let's grab it. Oh, never mind. The same creature who turned her into a tree. If I only knew who that was, Lady Valenis, I would surely make him regret it. I fear my lady may die of that wound, but I can do nothing about it. Let's pull With the stake out. Clumsy hooves. Huh. Yeah, I wonder, is this is this considered SVGA graphics or is it still VGA? Hey, Retro Gaming Denmark, what's up, man? Uh, I'm not sure that I like the visual direction in this game compared to the older entries in the series. It's it's different for sure, but I actually don't mind it. I mean, I don't know if I would like to, like the entire series to be uh, drawn like this, but it's a nice change of uh, of graphics. I would guess SVGA. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. D, what's up? Let's pull the stake out. With your permission, my lord, I would like to try to remove this stake. Do not feel bad, nope. Valenis. That stake was placed there by the darkest of evil magic. I'm not sure anyone can remove it. 
I hate to ask you this, Lord Atis. All right, so we have a stake. What will happen if Ceres, Mother Nature herself, does indeed perish? Okay. I cannot say for certain, but I feel in my bones that the woods will perish along with her. Hmm. No! How much have I missed? Okay, half an hour of shoot. What's up, Luna? How's your uh, your character grinding on Identity uh, 5? Yeah, you didn't miss much. Uh, we literally uh, escaped the bedroom. Uh, we took down the painting, escaped through the vent. And we got the enchanted rope from the nursery troll. And just escaped it back up to, uh, I guess what is called Ooga Booga, is what this land is called. Uh, we just met this deer. Uh, he was previously a human, and his wife, who was previously a human, but is now a tree. Uh, we discovered this stake that has been driven into her, so sap, her life force is slowly leaking out. And that is pretty much it. Yeah, there's a bridge over here that we need to solve. And there's also some nectar, I think? Something going on over here? Yeah, we're just dripping nectar. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, you didn't miss much. It was a good thing. Still don't have enough to buy a hunter, but I'm getting close. Nice, nice. I'm definitely interested to see how 2 versus 8 is going to play. Because to me, like, even though Dead by Daylight has been always, like, 4 versus 1 because, uh, you know, they, they don't want to mess up the balance or, I don't know, lack of balance, depending on who you ask, I'd be really curious to see how it would be against two killers. I don't know how that would... I don't know how that would work. Kind of chaotic. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Eight. I mean, do you still need five, you know, generators, five uh, cipher machines finished to escape? Or do you need more because it's uh, more players? Uh, let's keep, let's see what's over here first. Lady Ceres. Hmm. I will help you if I can. Hmm. hmm. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I guess we can just keep going left. But he said to watch out for these these people to the west. They're hungry. Something like that. Seven ciphers needed. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm still I'm still working my way through the campaign. I just became a killer the last mission, so I feel like we're getting close to the the end of it. Uh, so we can go west. Or we can go north. That lady is not properly dressed for the forest. Hamster Mancer, what's up, man? Yeah, she's, I mean, she's a queen. She's always, always got to be dressed to the nines. She can't be like me or <laughs> you or me going to, you know, the grocery store in her sweats. Food stains all over our shirts. She's a queen. She's got to uphold it. She's a celebrity, pretty much. You know how many paparazzi follow her? Happy Tuesday, by the way. It is the start of a very, very long week. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Passed my training thing on Monday. So I have another training assessment uh, Thursday. But eh, that's not too big of a deal. I'm just waiting for the three-day weekend coming up. We have Monday off, so I'm excited about that. Can I jump? Hmm... It is still Godzilla, sorry, I'm at Rosella. Well, so it's it's Queen, I, I, I always forget her name. What is her name? Queen Valenice. Queen Valenice and Princess Rosella. Yeah, I'm waiting my, for my performance review at the moment. Oh, nice. Yeah, right now I'm like in a five week training course and every three days there's an assessment and you can only fail two. Oh no, you can only fail one. If you fail two, you're out of the course. So I haven't failed any of them. So, I think I'm doing alright. Queen, Queen Vaseline, yes. Queen Vaseline. Valenice. Valenice. Alright, um... So we can't cross? For reals? Oh, there's a butterfly? Hmm. Oh shit, never mind. Okay, we can cross. We just die when we cross. What are you training for? Uh, it's like a... Like a, like a pen testing, penetration testing thing for uh, for computer networking. Alright, so uh, we don't step in the yogurt. Yogurt bad. 
yogurt bad. We can just like drop something. What about salt crystals? No. Maybe we don't have the item. Can we get some yogurt? Some gogurt? <laughs> Gogurt. Uh, okay, so we can't do anything here. So I'll just put down yogurt. We'll come back to this. Slash spider. Um, let's go south. Oh, this is where we came from. Alright, so let's go west. And try not to get eaten. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's nothing. Be cool, be cool. Oh yeah, this is not gonna end well. Yeah. Oop. Why can't I look at this? Oh, that sound effect. Straight out of doom. Oh my. Nothing to worry about, right? I mean, I don't have food, unfortunately, so they're probably going to kill me. It's a werewolf. Oh. Stop! There, there is no need to... Hey, Ricky, what's up, man? Long time no talk. How have you been? I'll never be able to get past him unless I do something drastic. Werewolf? Oh, you are punny, sir. Very, very punny. Alright, maybe if we put some hair on us, we'll look like a... She werewolf? She wolf? I don't know what the proper terminology is. Let's try that. Come on out. Oh my. Come on, let's go. I have dog hair. Or rabbit hair? Rabbit hair. Jackalope hair. Oh no! Oh, that's it, I'm dead. Now, just a moment, sir. Hmm. Do I interest you in that? Well, he is a dog. Maybe he likes sticks? Maybe I can go play I'm fetch? Done. Let's try that. Let's play fetch. All right, how are you? I'm doing good, Ricky. Just been, uh, working, unfortunately. Hair like oh. that, she should be singing I ran. Indeed. Indeed. Can I do can I pre-use an item? See, I see. No, those are leaves. Can I put hair on myself? No. Can I throw a stick somewhere? No. Alright, let's walk forward. He'll come out. And let's try using the stick to play fetch. Oh, that didn't work. What am I missing here? Maybe I'm not supposed to use the item directly on him. Maybe I'm supposed to use it on myself, and if I use it on myself, she'll throw it? I don't know. I'm just, you know, spitballing here. Hey, Sean! What's up, man? How's your week so far? Can I interact with the eyes? Let's try that again. I cannot. Oh, my. Can I throw this stick into the woods? No. No. Just trying trying out ideas here. No. I have to use an item on him. I just don't know what. Let's see how much time I have. No more typing in directions. No, Ricky, we moved on. We're modern now. Oh, shh. That didn't work. Uh, maybe we come back to this one. Yeah, maybe we come back to this. Those dark days are over. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. King's Quest 4 was of particular offense to the way I typed. Like, several times I was trying to dig with the shovel 
because that was the solution to the puzzle was to dig up graves. So I had dig with shovel, dig with shovel, and it just wouldn't work, and I was stuck for like 15, 20 minutes. And finally, I typed in dig, and that worked. So, you know, Sierra logic. Dig with shovel. Who would have thought to do that? Dig. Dig's where you're supposed to do. Uh, that, I mean, that kind of looks like sap. Can I grab some of this? No. Can I hit the deer with the stick? No. Can I brush? Ooh, can I brush your hair? Good sir. My daughter was taken from me by a powerful magic. She's a lovely girl with eyes of Feed the deer to the werewolf. Yes. Hair. Yes. Her name is Rosella. Have you seen her? Rosella Stone. I have not seen her, my lady, but I have heard word of her. She's to be married to King Otar Fenris the Third, Lord of the Trolls. I must rescue her. <laughs> Where is the kingdom of the trolls, good sir? The only known portal to the Volcanics Underground lies west, beyond the wood of the Weir Folk. My thoughts are unclear, my Dude, lady. Dude, this deer's voice. I recall hearing of a merchant in the town of Falderall. It's like smooth jazz. That can get you through the Weir Woods. Where God, I want that voice. Oh, that's, that's that's a great voice. Name? I do not know his name, but Falderall lies north and west of here, beyond the Smooth these like woods. Colombian coffee. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I must go. I would answer my phone all the time if I talk like that. Could you imagine that on the other line? Hello. That's my best imitation of that. Uh, free game on Epic right now. It's that kind of game. No, what's the game called, Ricky? Uh, or it mentions an item by name. Specifically in the room, you type to do something with the item exactly as the game states, and the game says it doesn't recognize that word. Fuck you, Sierra. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It knows how to use the word, but it doesn't know how to understand the word. There's an amazing anim animation on YouTube where someone's trying to play the old Lord of the Rings text adventure game, and they animated all the dumb choices. That sounds amazing. I would like to play the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy text adventure. And also some Zork, uh games as well. Muzak. Sounds like Barry White. Yeah. Untold Stories. It's free right now? I'll go check it out. I will go check it out. Yeah, that dude, his voice is like Colombian coffee, like sipping Columbia coffee while listening to smooth jazz. Alright. What the hell do we need to do? We have a very limited amount of items, a limited amount of screens to go to, Hmm. Oh, Terry. Uh, di uh, Discworld? Discworld Luna? I've heard that game is insanely difficult, and there's a lot of pixel hunting and a lot of moon logic when it comes to solving puzzles. So, I don't know. I'm a little unsure of wanting to play it. Because I'm already not great at obvious solutions, and Discworld would just frustrate me. Sims 4 is free? Eh, Sims 4. I'm not a huge Sims fan. I didn't think it was difficult. Hmm. Sims 4 and Steep. Oh, hmm. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I paid for that not long ago. Yeah. I try I tried not not buying games. Unless I really like plan on playing it that same day. Because I ended up amassing a large amount of Steam games, PlayStation 4 games, every console type of game. And I ended up just not playing half of them. Or I bought them for like full price and now they're like 10 bucks. So I made an effort, a concentrated effort, to avoid sales until I finish all my Steam games. And King's Quest Collection, coincidentally enough, is one of those games I bought in 2009, i.e. 10 years ago, and I'm just now playing it. So as soon as I get through my backlog, I think I'm gonna start, you know, buying more games. Though there are, like, a few games that I will buy, like, instantly. Like, Monster Hunter World, big Monster Hunter fan, had to get it day one. Dark Souls, had to get that day one. But for the most part, uh, there's no real games that I'm, that I have to have day one. I'm generally pretty patient about it. Oh, I did get Guacamelee. Or Melee, yeah. A couple that made Quest for Glory recently released a new point-and-click called Hero U. Oh, nice. Uh... 
Quest for Glory, that's Roberta Williams, right? And Ken Williams? Sorry, but I haven't finished it. Steep was not that amazing for me. Yeah, well, that stinks. I mean, it's free, so I guess I can't really complain if it's not great. That's a really good policy, Hefe. It makes me sad how many games I have that I don't play. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I used to be like a huge fiend. I was like, you know, FOMO, right? Fear of missing out. And I would just keep buying games and buying games. But then I just slowly realized that I just don't, I don't have time for it. I'm like, I'm adulting. I have to adult every day. <laughs> Maybe when I retire. I think you would like the text adventure games from Legend Entertainment. They're a mix of point and click and text adventures with great writing. Hey, so Denmark. So Legend Entertainment also did um, a not point and click. Uh, it was kind of point and click. I mean, it's like a Shadowgate type of adventure called uh, Xanth, I think, based on the Xanth novels by Piers. Piers, uh, not Piers. Uh, who? What's his name? I can't remember. The Xanth series. But that was a pretty fun game. Legend Entertainment is also up to the Sierra quality of gaming. Alright, cool. I'll check out and see what games they have. I don't buy games first day, but I do buy older games a lot and then end up not playing them. Yeah, I'm this, I'm, I, I used to be the same way. Now I just slowly, you know, shied away from it. Every time I see, like, oh, something on your wish list is on sale, I, I, just, I just ignore it. <laughs> I just ignore it completely. That was Cory and Lori Cole. Oh, that made Quest for Glory. Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah, I do need to play Quest for Glory. Uh, so we have statues. Quest for Glory is better than King's Quest, in my opinion. Interesting. I know Quest for Glory had a lot of little RPG elements, whereas uh, Qu King's Quest obviously, you know, 100% uh, a point-and-click adventure game, except for 8. I heard King's Quest 8 added combat, which sounds like the worst idea ever. All right, what am I supposed to do here? I have these statues, I have a broken bridge. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to get this nectar somehow, I guess. There are only a few of them available on good old games, the rest you have to pirate from archive.org. Okay, hmm, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I still need to download King's Quest VIII. I think it's an Abandonware game, so I could download it legally, I believe. Uh, what if I go south? This brings me back to the cave? Yeah, back to the cave. Can I do anything with this? Salamander? Doesn't sound happy. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep going. I'm not sh sure which series I rate the most. They're both great. Yeah, I'm really enjoying King's Quest. But I will say I still like Space Quest better. Space Quest just holds a special place in my heart. Mm, those flowers I love the humor in Space Quest. Um, hmm... I'm just doing item spam here right now. Seeing what works. Hmm. So I will say Legend of Kyrandia, um, the second one, was really, really good. I borrowed it from a neighbor, and I was really surprised at how good of a game it was. I actually started with Space Quest 1 the other day for a little look. Oh, man, it's great. It's great. Uh, I think I mentioned the last time I was here on real hardware. Oh, Apple II, holy crap. Wait, Space Quest I had disc swapping? So I had Space Quest I, and it was on a single floppy, and I would play it during my typing class <laughs> in, in, uh, in school. All right. Um, we're missing something here. What is it that we're missing? Can I use this to wedge the spike out? No, I need some sort of leverage. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Yeah, Poor Roger fellow. Wilco, space janitor. I should leave him in peace. Which, when I heard that Donald Trump was making a space force, I was like, I have the perfect person for that. <laughs> 
Roger Wilco, Space Force. Lady Ceres, I will hmm. help you if I can. Hmm. What am I missing? What am I missing? No. Arr. Single flop in Apple 2GS, but that was like an Amiga type Apple machine. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I remember it was on a uh, one disc for me, I believe. My memory serves me, which it doesn't really serve me. <laughs> yeah, at one point I had the boxed versions of all the Space Quest games. I had the Space Quest collection, but I ended up selling it. I also had the Leisure Suit Larry collection as well. Oh man, I just lost my cursor. <laughs> what are you doing over there, Ricky? All right, what am I doing with my life here? What am I doing wrong? I have uh, the stake in the tree, the nectar from the flower, the broken bridge, the yogurt spider. Uh, I never played Leisure Suit Larry. It's, it's actually a pretty fun game. I mean, it's definitely not PC at all. It's a bit more adult. Oh yeah, definitely. And they made a VGA version of the very f of the first Leisure Suit Larry. I mean, I think it's worth trying out. It's been, you know, years since I played Leisure Suit Larry, so I don't know if the humor actually holds up. Uh, what can I do here? Can I throw a stick at the spider? No. Can I throw some salt crystals? You would think I could put salt crystals down, it would like dry up the yogurt, maybe. I feel like I'm missing an item somewhere. Am I gonna fall and die? Oh, okay. Hopscotch, you jump over. Got it. I think I have the King's Quest collection on CD-ROM. Is it worth anything? I have no box, only the CD in the CD case. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Most people, when they collect older games, they want it uh, unopened and fully complete. Like, I think... So, Leisure Suit Larry Collection was opened, and I sold that for uh, maybe like 20 or $30. But the Space Quest Collection was uh, sealed. I had never opened it, because, you know, Steam came around and I bought the Space Quest Collection that way. And I sold that for probably 60 or 70 bucks. So, you might be able to get something for it, but uh, it won't be a whole lot. Yeah, most uh, collectors want sealed and brand new. Uh, let's see if we can just jump over here. Nice. Do not fall, queen. You are regal. You have amazing posture. There we go. Oh, my. Yeah. I will say the most expensive thing I saw I uh, sold was Day of the Tentacle, sealed, the CD-ROM version. Hush, my jewel. Soon all your troubles will be over. <laughs> Mikey with the stick. No. Well, let me just grab you. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Back off. <laughs> Uh, throw some hair on you, put you in a box, put you in a box. Hey, who nice. took the sun? Who took my lunch? Where am I? Hmm. Just cool off for a while, my many-legged friend. No fair. There we go. But yeah, like Day of the Tentacle sealed. It sold for like a couple of hundred bucks. It was ridiculous. And I'd had that game since, you know, the 90s. Now I only have like one game. One game. Where is it? One game that I bought a long time ago. This game, guys, if you have not played this game, Star Control 2. Oh. Oh. Easily my favorite PC game of all time. Just an amazing, amazing game. Great voice acting, very, very funny. The combat's fast and furious, very arcade style. And the storyline is just very, very interesting. 
very involved, and there's lots of space exploration. It like hits it hits all the check boxes for me. Uh, okay, let's get the little birdie, little hummingbird. Oh, there you are, pretty one, safe and sound. I owe you my life, lady. I know I am very tiny, but if I can do you a good turn in the future, I will. Nice. Progress. Uh, let's make a new bookmark. Keep playing. How far are we along? Whoa. We're almost at the halfway point for chapter three. This is interesting. Alright, spider's done. Oops. Steak. Yogurt spider's done. What else do we got? of Daventry! I seek entry to your town! You may only enter this city uh, <laughs> if you uh, bring Barbie me Castle. the holy one-ton tomato of Antioch. That's ridiculous! There's no such thing! Uh -huh. Oh, and you were gonna let a little thing like that stop you? You don't deserve to be in this town. Uh-huh. The tomato of Antioch. Thy holy hand grenade of Antioch. Hmm. See so ya, yeah, gotta hit the sack. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Denmark. I'll catch you next time. Get some rest. Uh, okay. I guess let's just knock on it. Have you brought me the holy one ton tomato? Holy one ton no, tomato. Of course not. Well, go away then. All right, what else do we got besides that door to the right? Yep, I guess we're going to the door. Don't touch that door! You can't go through there. there there's a there's a giant rabid chicken on the other side. That's it, a giant rabid chicken. I'll take my chances. He's telling the truth. Stop! It's gonna. You can't. It's go gonna there. kill me. I just did, little fellow. Ooh. Oh! The Archduke will hear of this! Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Look at this town. It's a poodle. You're a pretty, pretty princess. You're finally living your dreams. Yeah, you know. I make it work. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's keep talking. Please, noble Archduke, you must let me by. I'm on an errand of great importance. I'm also a queen. Oh, that's what they all say. Then the next thing you know, they're rubbing the city blind. Archduke, yip yap! I would never. Yip yap. Did you just call security on me? Sir. Time to use the stick. Go fetch. Sir, I wonder if you might be interested in bribery? Bribery? <laughs> nope. Okay. Um what else? What else? What else? What if I brush you? Oh, nope. Okay, that's Sir, I want nothing from your town. I'm only searching for my lost daughter, Rosella. Stone. She was stolen by some form of dark magic and now I fear I will never see her again. Oh, there we go. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in Foldor, old lady. Be sure to take the faux shop with a grain of salt. I hope you found your daughter. <laughs> hmm. We did it. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Just never mind there, my lady. He's very silly. That was a chicken, wasn't it? 
right, what do we got? Put this up. Can't go in here. Oh, we can go in the china shop. So let's just start from left to right. God, everyone is crying. The deer is crying, the dog, me. These things are so lovely. But I'm afraid even to breathe in here. It all looks so fragile. Oh, we have a, a mask that we can potentially grab. An empty cage. Let's talk. Welcome to my shop, dear lady. I am Fernando Bullfour, proprietor. Good day, sir. Oh, it is not a good day. Mm. It is a terrible day. A black day. Why has it got to be I'm black? I'm sorry to hear that, Fernando. Is there anything I can do to help? Mm. Not unless you have found my treasure. What's your treasure? Someone stole your treasure. How what does he want? Tell me what all you need. Your gems? No, it was treasure, my precious china bird. I love my treasure more than all the china stars bird. in the sky. Oh, did we just she's save the China bird? Friend. And now, now she's gone. I think we saved her. That was the one in the spider. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a princess. Uh, I'm a queen. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a queen. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's weepy in this game. Yeah, everyone's like super depressed. Super depressed. Let's go look at the cage. Your bird was stolen from your shop right out of her cage? Oh, was it the hummingbird? Yes. Hmm. But I was taking a nap and I did not hear her cries. Oh, the guilt. Okay, so we need to find a bird. I'm guessing if we find the bird, he'll give us this mask. Or maybe we can just take it. I don't know. Pardon me, good sir, but what is the price of that lovely mask? The price is 100 pieces of gold, my lady. Okay. But I'll let you have it for 80. Mask. I don't care anymore. For 80 gold pieces. <laughs> hmm. Unfortunately, I've no money. I am Thank broke. Anyway, I am a queen with no money. Uh, okay, so... We need to come back here with the bird. That much is clear. B-R-O-K-E. Broke. Yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> I love this guy. Did you hear me, lady? I said the sky is falling! Oh, let's talk. I had no choice but to hear you, my lady. What makes you think the sky is falling? Alright. How's the game? Cam, what's up, man? It's good so far. I like it. Yeah, honestly, the first chapter I didn't like. I didn't like the chapter in the desert, but the troll cave was cool. This one so far is pretty cool. For whatever reason, the desert, for the very first chapter, just did not resonate with me. Maybe I just, I just felt lost all the time. But yeah, so far this is not bad. Closed. Come back a little later for the Archduke's birthday party and masquerade ball. Now that sounds like fun. Hmm, interesting. How's your steam steam? How's your stream? English? How's your stream been? You still playing uh Lands of Lore and Command and Conquer? Four poops so far today. I'm on a roll. You're doing good, Sean. You're keeping regular. You don't want you don't ever want to be stopped up. Alright. What does this guy want? What a sweet little bird. That does Hello, not look sweet. Hello, dragon bread. Damn. How can you be so rude? I'm a mockingbird, lady. What do you expect? Quick, go soak your head. Your brain is overheating. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, Lands of Lord 3 should end tonight and starting the Nod campaign tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. You smell like a pair of armored trousers after the Hundred Years' War. Cover your face, you're scaring the horses. <laughs> when you were born, the midwife slapped your mother. I've heard that one before. You must have fallen out of the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Yep, I've heard that one. When you were a kid, your mother had a tire leg of mutton around your neck to get the dog to play with you. Uh, I think I've heard that. Whoa, either the plague wagon just drove up or you really need a bath. <laughs> your parents tried to throw you to the wolves, but the wolves threw you back. Trying to see how many jokes he has. Is that your face or are you eating a mincemeat pie? <laughs> when you were born, the midwife saved the bath water and threw you out the window. Nice. Two midwife jokes. If you were on fire, I wouldn't lay an egg on you to put you out. Is that your nose or are you eating a turnip? <laughs> Most babies were found under a cabbage leaf. You were found under a stinkweed. Okay. You smell so bad, even the pig boy avoids your company. Damn, that's a lot of jokes. You're so ugly, you have to sneak up on a glass of water. Yeah, that's kind of weak. Was your mother frightened by a warthog when she was carrying you? Okay. Did your parents lose a bet with an evil magician? Princess Bride is a better movie than this. <laughs> You're so dumb, the village idiot won't ask you for directions. Damn. Princess Bride? It took me a minute to appreciate Princess Bride. Like, it's not my favorite movie. I, I get it's like, it's a very cult, uh, cult type movie. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a funny movie. It's a very quotable movie for sure. Yeah, the first chapter of this game is the weakest for sure. Yeah, the first chapter I did not like, but so far everything else is great. Only your varicose veins save you from being completely colorless. Uh, what are you gonna talk about varicose veins like that? You're so dull you can't even entertain a doubt. This is like 20 jokes in so far. You light up the room whenever you leave it. You're almost as exciting as a fat lap dog right after dinner. All right. Your mouth is so big you can whisper in your own ear. You're so boring your own shadow won't keep you company. This is all still new. The only thing that can stay in your head for more than an hour is a cold. Hmm. That's... You can't count to 20 without taking your shoes off. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Dad joke. Your mind is to put it under a wagon wheel. When there's an idea in your head, it's in solitary confinement. Okay. If you had a little more sense, you'd be a halfwit. When you walk in a room, the mice scream and jump on chairs. Dude, this is kind of incredible. They've recorded this many jokes. The day you arrived, your father went out and shot the stork. You have the face of a saint. A Saint Bernard. Oh. So good, I fell in love with this kid. My kids love it. Yeah. You have a very striking face. How many times have you been struck there anyway? I still need to get my wife to watch uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That still you needs to be a thing. Two faced because if you had two, why would you be wearing that one? Why don't you send your wits out to be sharpened? Are you going on a trip? You sure have big bags under your eyes. <laughs> I never forget a face, but in your case, I'll make an exception. I've got two minutes to kill. Tell me everything you know. You have a pretty little head. For a head, it's pretty little. When your time comes, thousands of people will attend your funeral to make sure you're really dead. I don't, I don't know if I should continue. <laughs> is that your head or is your neck blowing a bubble? Dude, I can't stay. Pig, what's up, man? When you arrived, what's the important you message? The house for a week before he had the nerve to drop you off. Sims 4 is free if you claim it now. Yeah, uh, Ricky, Ricky was talking about, Ricky and Sean. Be careful not to let your mind wander. It's too little to go out alone. You have a face like a flower. A cauliflower. Is that it? Nope, there's more. I feel sorry for your little mind. All alone in that big fat head. Oops. Your parents almost lost you as a child. Unfortunately, they didn't take you far enough into the woods. I need to go warn all other streamers. See you, man. See you, pig. Didn't I meet you in a nightmare? Why 
don't you go hang around with a village idiot so you have someone to look up to? I don't think he's ever gonna run out of jokes. You must be a big cheese. You certainly smell like one. Holy crap. Keep those legs covered. The chicken peddler is in town. You smell like a pair of armored trousers after the hundred years war. There we go. All right, it's done. That was probably like 40 jokes. Holy crap. I give you, I don't know. What can I give you? Is there anything that you would like? No? All right, let's go into the fake shop. Oh, we got there. Yeah. Busy on creating a pack of lies. Back soon. Yeah, you give me a guy that I can click on, I will click until the dialogue repeats itself. <laughs> I love this. I love this guy or gal. Then maybe you would prefer some of Professor Gluten's all-purpose extras. She is great. She's great. I'll tell you why, She's great. My dear, it's because you don't get their attention. However, you were to smack them in the head with this fine shillady. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, she's amazing. My favorite voice actor in this game. Alright. Let's go talk to this eel or whatever this is. Oh, there's a bird. Sir, I was told of a merchant who sells an item which can get me through She is the rather good, yeah. Air. She's good. Would that be you? That would be me indeed, dear lady. Oh, werewolf, I have right. The stuff you desire a magical sieve of great power. However, I will only take one very special item for the sieve. What do you want? It's a magic statuette, a lovely depiction of a nymph gazing into a pond. Okay. Just where can I find this magic statuette? Uh, I am not entirely sure, but okay. last I heard, the Archduke had it. Archduke, okay. I can't just take something from the Archduke! Okay. It is not his. The statue is a relic of the realm. Some say it once belonged to Titania, Queen of the Fairies, when she was just a child. No one knows to whom it rightly belongs. Well, all hmm. right. I must have that solve if I'm ever to see my daughter again. Okay. So, I gotta go talk to the Archduke, somehow get this statue. Right now the town hall is closed. What about this? Can I steal this? I'm guessing I need the mask to go to the Archduke's party. Like, we're probably gonna have that weird eyes wide shut thing going on. Wow, nice morals, felonies. Unbelievable. Yeah, I know, right? Aren't you a queen? Aren't you a queen? Aren't you above petty theft? Hello, little bird. Who are you? Go away! The bird talks. The Hush, bird talks. One. Your friend Fernando is looking for you. He says he loves his little treasure more than all the stars in the sky. You've met him? Will you take me to him, please? Of course. Here, hop on my finger. You're gonna let me take him? Well, well that was easy. That was easy. Let's look at this bird. China bird. <laughs> that is goofy looking. Uh, okay. We can't go anywhere else, so let's see if we can go back to Fernando. Yeah, he's just gonna let us take the bird. That was easy. Uh, let's go back to the china shop first. This will play on that bull in the china shop uh, reference. That's my guess. I'm surprised it was that easy. Yeah, yeah, that was notoriously easy. Here you go. I didn't have to do anything for it. Someone who'd really like to see you, Fernando. Who might that be, my lady? 
Boom. Mm. Treasure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bull in a china shop. I cannot thank you enough, good lady. Here, allow me to present you with this. It is my newest acquisition, and I want you to have it. The mask? What are you gonna give me? There we go. Now we can go to the party. Thank you, Fernando. I will always remember you and Treasure. If you will excuse me, my lady, I must go spend some quality time with Treasure. Yes, tell me all about it, my little precious one. All right. Let's check out this mask. All right. Let's get out of here. Ah, see? Party. Party time. Good evening, sir and madam. Do come right in. And this is what we need the mask for. Forgot how scary that mask is. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I just recently watched the trailer. I like horror movies. I just recently watched the trailer for the... The sequel to It. Oh. Looks so good. So good. Gotta wait all the way until September, though. Alright, so let's put on the mask. Alright, we have the China Bird. Slash mask. And now we need to go steal the statue. I haven't seen it, the old one or the new one? Welcome, uh, both. Lady. I've seen both. I kind of want to read the book first, which I have. Yeah, I finally read the book. I started and stopped that book probably like five or six times over the last couple of years. And I finally sat down and was like, I'm just going to read this entire thing. And it's... Like, it's a bit of a trial. I mean, it's, it's a good, what, 800, 900 pages? So it's a long, long book, and there's a lot of detail. But, uh, yeah, it was a good book. It was a good book. Would I read it again? Probably not. There's too much going on. And I'm not, like, a huge Stephen King fan. Uh, Richard Matheson, I like him as a horror writer. But Stephen King, I don't know, it's just something about his writing that just kind of, I don't know, like, puts me off. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Though it's been a while since I've read fiction. Uh, I think the last last major series I got into was the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. I tried reading Game of Thrones, but I couldn't get into it. The show, however, the show was great. Or was great. That last episode was uh, not what I expected. Dark Tower series is amazing, not horror though. Uh, so I started the Dark Tower series. I read the first book, which was really, really rough. And then I read all of the second book and got part of the way through the third before I uh, uh, got distracted by something else. And then I stopped reading. Uh, they did release a movie though, but I heard the Dark Tower movie wasn't that great. Oh, I think I started reading Wheel of Time, but I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I read Wheel of Time, you know, years and years ago, back when I had more patience for reading. Like, Wheel of Time is a bit of a slog, because the author, Robert Jordan, can go into, like, two full pages of description before getting to what's actually going on. Oh, Jesus, I saw the advert for the uh, movie, and I was like, nope, it looked awful. Yeah, it did not get through the reviews. Though it's interesting to see uh, Matt McConaughey as, you know, an evil guy. Yeah, uh, it got really bad reviews, so I have no interest in really seeing it. Uh, let's go talk to the Archduke. Let's go talk to the frog? Nope, there's a cake. Happy birthday, Archduke Yip Yap! Thank you, my loyal subject! <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about the cake? Push him into the cake. Hmm. The cake actually makes me a little hungry. That looked pretty good. Uh, so we just gotta keep. There's a statue, right? Where's the statue at? All right. There it is. 
Oh, there's a door. Gotta be less spazzy with the mouse, because I miss things. <laughs> oh god. What is this awfulness? Uh, maybe this is like Grim Fandango, where if we just keep walking straight, it'll eventually take us to the door. I am back with Dinger, dinner, Dinger, and I gotta say, things have gotten weirder. Yes, things have gotten very, very weird. I'm in the Archduke's party, and we're trying to uh, find his statue, because if we can get the statue, we can get the salve that we can put on ourselves that will keep the werewolves away. So, a puzzle to solve another puzzle. We just gotta figure out how to get to this here door. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. Alright. That's weird looking. That makes pretty good adventure game logic sense. Yeah, exactly. You don't need a silver bullet. You just need some Vaseline. What was that? I guess that was the wrong door. Oh, never mind. We're in. We're in. Ah, the statue. This is what we need. Steal it. Well, I think the world just got a new definition for tacky. Take it. Oh, okay, maybe that's not the statue. What a perfectly awful basin. Okay. About the mirror. Maybe it's like a secret entrance. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Gotta be something in here. Oh! Alright, I thought that killed me. I was like, damn it, Sierra! How could you? Duke Fifi. You look every bit as silly on canvas as you do in person. Fifi. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go out. Oh my god. We're back where we started. Okay. Uh, maybe it's through a different mirror. Maybe it's through a different mirror. Let's try. Let's try something. Should have bring me back right here, right? Yeah. Wait, is the Archduke just goofy and drag? Could be. Could be. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Hey, Luna, thank you for the host. You are awesome. I have to introduce you to the other Luna I know. Though if I do introduce you to her, you may probably want to steal her. Let me see if I can grab her. Hold on. Let's check the other mirrors first. Oh. Hmm. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find her. Wah. You know you're not allowed in the office, but it's okay. You shake? There you go. All right. All right. 
enough dog cam. I gotta kick her out now. Ooh, ooh. The camera's moving all over the place. That's the other dog. That's Joey. Wow. Yeah, she is a very, 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 very smart dog. Almost too smart. Thank you for showing her off. She's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very pretty dog. Uh, she is old, too. She doesn't look it, but uh, she is uh, eight, nine years old, I think. Hold on a second. My camera's just moving all over the place. There we go. There is a cat. There's definitely a cat. Uh, he is half Maine Coon, but he's very uh, standoffish, as cats usually are. Um, all right, so what am I missing here? Yeah, two dogs and a cat. We have a full house. It's kind of ridiculous. Just hair everywhere. Just tumbleweeds like a Western. So how do I steal this statue? He wants a statue. The floofiest cat. Yeah, he's he's yeah. ridiculous. I think the world just got a new definition. For I usually leave my office door open and he'll just jump over the child gate and just kind of sleep over here by the food futon. You know cats. They sleep like 23 hours a day. Wait, hold on. What was that? The there we go. I can't read it. What dreadful housekeeping. Oh well, I've got better things to do. Can I wipe it? Oh, how do I wipe this? How do I wipe this? Um. And you of darkness get what the get what you desire. Hold on. I can't use a hair to wipe it. No, I can't. It's a doo-doo saying use toilet paper. Terrible, Sean. Terrible. Uh try scrubbing and clean up this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I could just or I mean, I don't know. Use my hand like a normal person. Oh, I can make a broom, stick plus hair. Nah. I mean that that is sound sound adventure game logic here. Make a broom out of the hair and a stick. Yeah, um maybe I'm missing something. Let's um hold on, is there anything else? I cannot move my mouse. Is there water in here? What a perfectly awful basin. No. Is there anything I can do with this? No. Have you tried licking it? <laughs> I have not. I have not. Unfortunately, there is no lick command. Uh, let's leave. Uh, do we want to leave this way? Yeah, let's leave this way. What's in the pot? Was there a pot? Hold on. Oh, in this pot. Uh, it's empty. It had water in it, but that's no longer the case. Maybe I need to grab something from the main room. Let's check that out. Let's get out of here. Pot of water. If I can find water. Let's see if we can find some water. Or find, just find an item, really. Because we can't go past the werewolves without this item. We haven't figured out the flower nectar puzzle either. I'm trying to get out of here. Alright, if we go one more to the left, it should bring us back to the beginning. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we have a statue that needs dusting. Hmm. Um. Uh, let's look around. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Got it. Got it. See, look at that. Steady hands. Oh, shit. That's the door. I thought it was a ribbon. 
Uh. Hmm. All right. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Just looking for anything I can grab besides the cake. Actually, what if I use... Can I use something on the cake? Can't put salt in it. Can't put hair. Can't put a stick. Can't fill my pot with cake. No. Uh, let's, let's try to grab the cake, see what happens. Nah, she just eats it. Hmm. am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Hmm. I switched to mobile, so I'll probably be chatting a bit less. Hate typing on my phone. No problem, Luna. Thank you for hanging out. Very much appreciate it. If you hear screaming, it's just because, you know, I'm trying to figure out a puzzle. Alright, um... So what if we go down this way? Yeah, I feel like it's in that other room through the mirror. There has to be something there. Meh. Oh, you don't have to thank me. I love these streams. Well, thank you anyway. It's always awesome to have people to chat with while I'm playing video games here. Alright, so let's go through the mirror. Grab me. Okay. There has to be something in this room I can use to, oh, there it is. Look at that. My steady mouse hand. I missed this the first time. Oh, what is this? What is this? That is not a cloth. Oh, this is a statue. Okay, and this is what the, uh, the merchant was looking for. So we should be able to just roll out. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Put this away. Now let's just see if we can just leave. Or are we going to get caught and thrown in jail or something? Ridiculous. Uh, I think if we go to the left, it'll bring me to the beginning. We should be good. Should be good. Alright, let's roll. We're done here. Okay, let's go give this statue to the merchant, get our werewolf salve. Ooh, can I fill up my pot with water? No, I can't. There's this mockingbird, I don't know if he actually does anything. And this, oh, it's a fake shop. <laughs> what can I do to help? Oh, it actually did fall. Oh, there's an egg. What is that? What is that? Blast! I can't reach it. Stick time? Stick time. Hmm. Oh, what if I grab the chicken? I like the variety of songs in the different areas. Yeah, it's really good. The, the music in this game is very good. I, I really like the ones in uh, King's Quest VI as well, though. Don't be sad, little hen. I'm sure you can buy Especially in the last castle. Somewhere in town. Green cheese. Buck, buck, buck. Green cheese. Oh, I pissed her off. Alright. 
All right, let's see if I can grab this. Yep. Oh. Hmm. Blast! I can't reach it. So many good things to say about King's Quest VI. Oh yeah, yeah. The, probably the first truly modern uh, King's Quest game. How am I supposed to get this bad boy? Uh, let's grab this egg. Alright, so I have cheese. Uh, we have a coin. A wooden nickel. Wow. Well, that sucks. Uh, well, let's give this... Oh, he's gone. Alright, so we have green cheese. Taking advantage of suckers. Back soon. Okay, so we got the statue. Um No. What's over here? Oh, nothing. Uh Taking advantage of suckers. Yeah, the sign. Yeah. I mean, at least he's honest. He's an honest thief. This is a fake shop. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright, how do I get the green cheese? How- oh, what if I take the shop? The shop side. It's on a hook. The faux shop. No. Synthetic false and unnatural treasures. Hmm. Nope. Okay. How do we get that cheese? And honestly, like, what do we even use it for? Uh, maybe the bull has something new for us? Good to see you guys are getting along. Fernando, you seem so happy. Oh, I am. With treasure back, my life is in balance once more. Stick cheese. Ah, oh, I tried it, Sean. It didn't, uh, it wouldn't let me. How did you get into the China business, Fernando? Oh, I suppose it was always my nature. When I failed snorting, charging, and stamping at Bovine University, my mother encouraged me to study in more refined areas. Bless her. Where did treasure come from, Fernando? I received her in a shipment of goods from Etheria. The poor little thing was covered with dust and cobwebs. When I polished her up, she began to sing. We've been hmm. inseparable ever since. A love story. I've spent enough time here. I must continue my search. Hmm. Okay. Hello, treasure. How are you? She's just fine, my lady. Thanks to you. Oh, blew me a kiss. Yep, yep. Okay, we're done here. We no longer need to go into the shop. Okay. Maybe the merchant's back. Maybe. Let's go check. I can't go in there. Still have not figured out what to do with these salt crystals. He's still gone, right? Yeah. He's still gone. Blast! I can't reach it. Uh should we item spam here? Let's item spam. No. Doesn't work. I'm guessing we don't have the item. No. Nope. What is this gonna be? Hold on. I can use the salt crystals on myself? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <coughs> uh, that is salty. Okay. Hopefully we don't need that. Actually, can I reload? 
Return to old bookmark. There we go. All right. Let's keep our salt crystals. I think you missed a pretty big clue when you first came to town. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did I miss? The guard? The guard said he wanted a tomato or something. Was that the clue? Let's go back out and check. Let's go talk to the guy. Go away, you horrid creature. You have no respect for authority. Uh-oh. Not the guard. Go away, oh. you horrid creature. You have no respect for authority. Um, hmm. It wasn't the merchant that said something, was it? You can't go through that door. Well. Let me just see if there's anything else I can interact with. It's fine, you'll get to it eventually. Yeah. That's what I figured. All right, well, let's see if there's anything I can do uh, outside, if anything has changed with these other puzzles. Hmm. Come on. Come on, queen. Can I actually offer him anything? I don't think I can. Yeah, I didn't think so. We don't actually need to give him anything. Okay. All right, let's walk out of here. See what we got going on. Statue. Wooden nickel. Oh, we have not been here. No, we haven't been here. This is new. How did we miss this? Weird. Okay, that cherry got chopped down. Don't know what that's about. No, oh, we have a sleeping giant. What does he want? Maybe I gotta wake him up by sticking hair in his nose. Nope. Can I do anything else to him? No? Hmm. No? I think that's it. Let's write down Boulder. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So let's keep walking. We, have, we still have a few more screens to go through. Oh, we're on the other side. Gotcha. Can I do anything that I'm on the other side? These statues are so beautiful. Incredible. Interesting. Uh, let's go to the left and down. And then I think we're gonna have to wrap it up from here. Yeah. It is almost dinner time. As much as I wanted to finish a chapter per stream, it doesn't look like I'll get to do it. Yeah, I finished some of chapter 2 and half of chapter 3. I think we did good. Yeah, this will give us time to think about the puzzles anyway. I'm kind of still trying to figure out what to do. 
sad face. <laughs> I know, Luna, I know. I wish I could stream more. I really wish I could. But weekdays are kind of difficult. Uh, I guess... Let's just go check all the other areas, just to see if anything else has changed, and then we'll... I think we'll wrap it up from here. It doesn't look like it. Let's hop over. Let's hop over. Don't die. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see any, because this is where the werewolf is at, right? Yeah, no. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to stop. It's not even been two hours yet. I know, I know, I got on late. I got on late. Alright, yeah, I do have to go though. Alright, so we'll, we'll we'll stop it for for now. And then Thursday, I promise, I'll promise, I'll be on time this time. I have food in the fridge, <laughs> so yeah, I can eat now. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's let's save it here. Make a new bookmark. Damn it, Hefe! I know, terrible, terrible. Such an amateur. <laughs> oh, oop! Did it freeze? Oh, it almost froze. It almost froze. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as I've said before, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I always enjoy talking about these video games as I'm playing them. It's a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, I will be back on. Thursday, so in two days from 5 to 7 p.m. Two hours, I promise this time. Uh, until then, let's find someone to stream. Stream. Raid. Raid stream. Stream raid. Uh, who's on? Uh, we've got... Huh. Weird, I thought Camellio normally streams around this time. But we have, uh... The Retro Therapy? So let's go ahead and shoot him a raid. Alright, hopefully I see you guys on Thursday. And we're off. See you later. <laughs>